Federal scientists just dropped a bombshell prediction that should terrify anyone living in the American Southwest. Lake Mead, the massive reservoir that keeps Las Vegas alive, that waters Arizona's farms, that literally powers cities across three states, is going to hit its lowest level in history. Not might hit, not could hit, will hit. We are not talking about some distant future. We are talking about 2027. That is less than two years away. The US Bureau of Reclamation just released its latest projections, and the numbers are worse than anyone expected. By September 2027, Lake Mead is going to drop to 1,038 feet above sea level. Now that might sound like just another number, but here is what that actually means. It is going to be two feet lower than the previous record low from 2022. Two feet below a record that already had scientists panicking. In 2022, when Lake Mead hit that record low, it was already a disaster. Bodies were literally showing up as the water receded. Old boats that had been underwater for decades were sitting on dry land. Boat ramps were hundreds of yards from the actual water. That white bathtub ring around the lake showing where the water used to be was already the size of the Statue of Liberty. And now they are saying we are going to go two feet below that. Right now, today, Lake Mead sits at about 1,064 feet. That's only 33% of its capacity. The lake that supplies water to 40 million people is only one third full and it's dropping. Federal water managers are already calling this a level one shortage condition, which means Arizona has to cut its water use by 18%. Nevada is cutting 7%, but that is just the beginning. Here is where it gets really scary. The scientists are not saying this might happen. They are calling it their most probable scenario. This is their baseline prediction. It is not their worst case scenario. It is their most likely outcome. In the worst case scenario, Lake Mead could drop to 1,026 feet. That is just one foot above the most severe water shortage level. At that point, we are talking about massive, unprecedented water cuts that would fundamentally change life in the Southwest. But let me explain what is really happening here. See, Lake Mead depends on the Colorado River, and the Colorado River depends on snow in the Rocky Mountains. That snow melts flows down the river, and fills the lake. It is a simple system that has worked for decades, except it is not working anymore. The snowpack has been pathetic. The forecasts show it is only going to be about 55% of average. 55%. And this is not just one bad year. This is year after year after year of drought. We are in what scientists are calling a mega drought. It has been going on for over two decades now, and it is getting worse, not better. The National Weather Service, NOAA, and the Bureau of Reclamation are all saying the same thing. The water that is supposed to flow into Lake Mead is not coming. The Rocky Mountains are not producing enough snow. The temperatures are too high. The whole system is breaking down. And here's the thing nobody wants to talk about. Lake Mead is not just about water. It's about power. The Hoover Dam generates electricity from the water flowing through it. But when the water gets too low, those generators stop working. We're talking about losing power for millions of homes. Right now, the dam is already producing 25% less electricity than it is supposed to. If Lake Mead drops to what they call Deadpool, 895 feet, no water flows through the dam at all. Zero power generation. Zero water flowing downstream. Las Vegas saw this coming. They spent $1.4 billion building what they call the Third Straw, a massive tunnel that draws water from the very bottom of Lake Mead. They built it so that even if the lake falls to extremely low levels, Vegas can still access water. They plan to pull every last drop they can. This last-ditch engineering underscores how serious the situation is. But Vegas cannot survive alone. California, Arizona, and Nevada all depend on this water. Farmers in Arizona are already receiving cuts to their water. Some are abandoning their fields. You cannot grow crops without water. There is no way to raise cattle without water. The entire agricultural system of the Southwest is built on Lake Mead's water, and that system is collapsing. The scientists at the University of Arizona Water Resources Research Center are being blunt about it. They say Mother Nature's flows have not been generous. 
that is scientists speak for we're screwed. They are looking at the data and running the models, and they all point to the same conclusion, that Lake Mead is dying. What's really terrifying is that this isn't even considering climate change getting worse. These projections assume things stay roughly the same, but every climate scientist will tell you things are not staying the same. They are getting worse, temperatures are rising, droughts are getting longer, snow is disappearing, and once Lake Mead drops below certain levels, it creates a feedback loop. Less water means less evaporation, which means less moisture in the air, which means less rain and snow, which means even less water flowing into the lake. It is a death spiral. According to these new projections, we are already in it. The Bureau of Reclamation tried to sugarcoat it in their report. They talked about conservation efforts and operational guidelines. Buried in that bureaucratic language is a simple terrifying fact. Lake Mead is heading for its lowest level in recorded history, and there is nothing in their projections suggesting it is going to get better. Some scientists are saying this is the new normal. That phrase should chill you to your bones. The new normal is a Lake Mead that cannot supply enough water. The new normal is permanent shortage conditions. The new normal is fighting over every drop of water. The states that depend on the Colorado River are supposed to come up with new water sharing agreements by the end of 2026, but they cannot even agree now when there is still some water left. What happens when Lake Mead hits these record lows? When there is literally not enough water to go around? When cities have to choose between drinking water and electricity? You know what is crazy? We are not even talking about some theoretical climate model here. This is measured data, real water levels, actual projections based on current conditions. The Bureau of Reclamation has been monitoring Lake Mead since it was created in the 1930s. They know exactly how much water is in there. They know how much is flowing in. They know how much is being taken out. Their math all points to the same conclusion. Disaster. The National Park Service is already preparing for this. They are extending boat ramps down to 1,000 feet elevation because they know the water is going to keep dropping. They are literally building infrastructure for a catastrophe they see coming. They are not hoping for the best. They are preparing for the worst. And it is not just Lake Mead. Lake Powell, which feeds into Lake Mead, is also at historically low levels. It is at 31% capacity. The entire Colorado River system is failing. From Wyoming to Mexico, the whole thing is drying up. Seven states, 40 million people, millions of acres of farmland, all dependent on a river system that is dying. What happens when tourists stop coming to Lake Mead because there is no lake left? The local economy depends on recreation, boating, fishing, swimming. All of that dies when the water disappears. We are talking about economic collapse on top of water shortage on top of power crisis. The really sick part? Everyone saw this coming. Scientists have been warning about this for decades. They have been saying the Colorado River was over-allocated from the beginning. That too many states were promised too much water. That climate change would make it worse. And nobody listened. Politicians kicked the can down the road. Now we are at the end of that road. And here's something that should really make you angry. While regular people are being told to take shorter showers and not water their lawns, Agriculture is still using about 70% of the Colorado River's water. They are growing alfalfa in the desert to ship to Saudi Arabia to feed cows. They are growing cotton and almonds, some of the thirstiest crops you can grow, in one of the driest places on earth. The system is insane, and it is finally collapsing under its own weight. The Bureau of Reclamation's report makes it clear, this is not a temporary drought that is going to end when we get a wet winter. This is systematic failure. The Colorado River can no longer provide the water that has been promised. Lake Mead can no longer store enough to get through dry years. The whole framework that the Southwest was built on is falling apart. We are watching the collapse of the American Southwest water system in real time. This is not some distant climate change scenario. This is happening right now. The federal government's own scientists are telling us Lake Mead will hit its lowest level ever by 2027. And the worst part, there is no plan B. There is no other water source. There is no magical technology that is going to save us. Desalination is too expensive and energy intensive. Pipelines from other states are politically impossible. Cloud seeding is a drop in the bucket. We are out of options. Less than two years until catastrophe. The scientists have done their job. They have warned us. 
They have given us the data. They have shown us exactly what is coming. The question now is, what are we going to do about it? Because ignoring it is not working anymore. The water is running out. The lake is dying. And 40 million people are about to find out what happens when you build a civilization in the desert and the water runs dry.